In this video, we're going to do some basic number work and look at integers. Integers are simply whole numbers. We've got a number line here. We've got some negative numbers. We've got zero and we've got positive numbers. All of these values that we have here are what we call integers. So negative nine is an integer as its whole number. Negative five is an integer. Negative one is an integer. We can say that zero is an integer. Three is an integer. 9 is an integer, 12 is, and of course numbers beyond 12 and less than negative 12. If we now look at the values between the integers, we can say that these are non-integers. So if I just draw a little arrow, we might have just here the fraction 1 half. So 1 half isn't a whole number, so we say that that's not an integer or a non-integer. If I look just here, we might have the decimal value of 2.4. Again, 2.4 isn't a whole number, so we say this is a non-integer. We might have this point just here, and we might say that this is going to be negative 5.5. Again, a non-integer. So let's go ahead and just list a few out. So we'll put down some integers. And for example, I could have negative 101. I could have negative 49, I could have negative 3. We've already seen that we can include 0, we might have, for example, uh, 22, we might have 57, we might have 1089. So all of these are examples of integers. We need to be careful sometimes because numbers that might not necessarily look like integers could be. So for example, if we had 9 over 3, this looks like a fraction, but of course 9 divided by 3 is 3, which is an integer. If we have the square root of 36, the square root of 36 is 6, which of course is a whole number. If we now look at some examples of non-integers, so just jotting this in, non-integers, we can have decimals and fractions, for example, so we might have negative 10.2, we might have negative 7 eighths, we might have 0 0.42, we might have 1.674. We might also have some numbers such as the square root of 2. The square root of 2 is about 1.4. If we look about on the calculator, root 2 gives us 1.414 and so on and so forth. So these are all examples of non-integers. So the take home message, if you can find the number on a standard number line, it is an integer. If you can't, it's not.